Upon reviewing the statement that an underwater glowing blue object was encountered off the coast of Florida, one individual highlighted their ability to leverage various satellite image resources to authenticate the luminosity observed in a recent post. The specific imagery captured on February 27, 2024, corresponds precisely to the location identified by the original poster. Evidently, there was a discernible presence at that spot during the documented period as acknowledged by the original poster. The source of light detected did not manifest on the days leading up to or following the 27th, showcasing a unique occurrence. Interestingly, the observed light emission falls within the infrared spectrum. It is worth noting that bioluminescent dinoflagellates typically do not emit infrared light, effectively disproving any conjectures related to this biological source. This comprehensive analysis delves into the intricate details concerning the identifiable light source, shedding light on its peculiar characteristics and ruling out potential explanations tied to bioluminescent marine organisms. The poster who originally uploaded the mysterious photographs detailed that in waters off the coast of Florida, a remarkable encounter unfolded. It was a calm evening, but little did anyone on board the research vessel know that they were about to witness a phenomenon that would challenge their understanding of the underwater world. The original poster said that he and his team hurried to the ship's railing, peering over the side to catch a glimpse of the mysterious source of light. What they saw took their breath away. A luminous blue orb hovering just beneath the surface, pulsating with an otherworldly energy. It cast an eerie glow on the surrounding water, illuminating the marine life that darted to and fro in its presence. Mesmerized by the spectacle before them, the man and his colleagues scrambled to capture the phenomenon on camera, documenting every detail of the encounter. The glowing blue orb seemed to slowly move on the bottom of the ocean, and as they watched in awe, the mysterious orb began to move, gliding effortlessly through the water with a grace that defied explanation. The statement made by one online user suggests that the object in question must have emitted a significant amount of brightness, being visible even from outer space. This observation highlights it as an intriguing anomaly that has captured attention in this area for quite some time. The fascination surrounding this particular phenomenon has sparked considerable interest and discussion among those observing it. Satellite technology has brought about a significant transformation in our comprehension of the Earth's oceans, providing unparalleled access to the concealed depths that exist beneath the ocean surface. One of the standout achievements facilitated by satellite data is the revelation of a peculiar and luminous blue underwater unidentified submerged object found along the shores of Florida. This discovery not only showcases the diverse applications of satellite technology, but also highlights the immense potential it holds for uncovering hidden marvels beneath the sea. Further investigation into the satellite data unveiled the existence of a unique and continual source of illumination, suggesting its emergence from a submerged site situated along the Florida coastline. Upon detailed scrutiny of the satellite data, it became apparent that there was a distinguishable and unchanging light source emanating from a particular location beneath the waters off Florida. The identification of the luminous blue unidentified submerged object acted as a powerful recall of the immense and predominantly uncharted expanses of the Earth's oceans. Even with years of extensive scientific research and technological progress, a significant portion of the ocean continues to be veiled in mystery, with its secrets remaining alluringly beyond our grasp. In the realm of scientific exploration, the mysterious phenomenon known as unidentified submerged objects serves as an intriguing conundrum and a catalyst for intensified investigative endeavors, a clarion call prompting researchers to escalate their quest to unravel the unfathomable intricacies of the oceanic world. The post was submitted by Reddit user ZJ223, and it detailed their encounter with something mysterious 10 miles off the coast of Florida. The poster commented the following. I understand this is not technically a UFO, because it was seen in the water. I work on a research vessel. Recently we had a trip, studying bioluminescence in the Gulf of Mexico. Around 11.45 in the evening, we were conducting research as normal, when a science party member saw a strange light about a quarter mile off our stern. We immediately started to make our way towards the light. The intensity of the light was quite astonishing. Nobody in the crew or the science party knew what to make of it. 
At first, we thought it could have been a sunken vessel or a navigation buoy of some kind that sank. We proceeded to get as close as possible to the light, and eventually we hovered directly on top of it. Our vessel has a moon pool in the center where the crew and science party were able to carefully observe the light from directly on top. We used a subsurface camera to attempt and capture what the object may have been. The science party on board automatically ruled out the light being produced by bioluminescent phytoplankton. This light source was 100% on the bottom of the ocean and not something that was floating through the water column. It did not move in the current. The water depth at this specific location was 60 feet deep. As we hovered on top of the light, we used an EK-80 sonar to provide us with an image of the ocean floor at this location. To our surprise, this object producing the light did not have a physical shape that we could detect. It was invisible to our sonar. The sonar is also capable of imaging objects that are below the seafloor, objects that could be partially submerged in the mud, and objects that could be as small as three inches in length and width. Consider the strength of the light having to shine through 60 feet of water and being strong enough for us to observe from a considerable distance away. There was definitely an arc of visibility that seemed to be brighter when viewed from further away than top down. I added some more videos here and I've been scanning through all of your comments. I'll try to respond to most of them with this comment. There are some people who are questioning the validity of my photos and objects in the photo. Let me preface this by stating some facts from our research crews back in February. Our research vessel was chartered by a group of scientists from a college in Florida. The chief scientist who sailed with us has been studying bioluminescence his whole career and even made mentions of how the Navy used research of bioluminescence in the past to detect Russian subs deep underwater. The chief scientist is a PhD and his primary graduate study was in bioluminescence this location we were studying bioluminescence at when we saw the object had very low concentrations of bioluminescent phytoplanktons. We were at the point of calling it quits for the night and moving to the next site entirely. When the boat gets chartered out by scientists, they provide all the gear, and the mission of this trip was to study bioluminescence. So naturally, they bring cameras and equipment to photograph bioluminescence at the surface. The vessel is not equipped with anything more than whatever the scientists decide to bring. Dropping a traditional camera in the water, without the correct protective housing, would cause the camera to break. We did not have any gear to send down a camera 60 feet. The most logical explanation at first would be bioluminescence. According to the PhD chief scientist, he immediately declared it was not bioluminescence after viewing the object using the camera equipment that was attached to the ship. When we consider bioluminescence, remember that organisms such as phytoplanktons and small jellyfish – I don't know the species name, forgive me – travel in the currents throughout the water column. This makes them move within the water. The object we were observing was completely still for our entire length of observation. It did not move at all. Let me throw in a personal opinion. That is not based on fact. Okay, let's say it was bioluminescence for the sake of argument. I want to know how was the luminosity of it so bright that we saw it from over 1,000 feet away, plus 60 feet down? Especially after making the deduction that the object was more than likely sitting on the ocean floor, and why wasn't it moving with the ocean currents? It appeared as it was anchored or stationary in one position. Which brings me to my next point. How do we know the object was on the ocean floor? Well, it's just an assumption. We don't know where it actually was in the water column, Logic might make us think that whatever the object is, it carries mass. Gravity would naturally pull it down. So that is the basis of the assumption it was on the bottom. Unfortunately, I cannot provide anyone here with documents to prove that the scientists have the credentials they do, or any of that. It's just my word. I didn't share the post on the internet immediately because, honestly, it was cool. But I don't care to post on social media. I'm a mariner. I spend years of my life on a boat on the ocean. Every so often I see things that defy explanation. I've seen lights flying at unrealistically high speeds a couple hundred feet off the water. I've seen lights in the night sky form weird shapes and fly away. None of that stuff I took pictures of, but they eventually become sea stories I share with friends and family. I truly hope this explains things for most of you. Looking forward to continuing the conversation and formulating ideas on what it may be.
Location of the sighting was 10 miles west of Caladesi Island, Clearwater Beach, Florida. End quote. So, what do you make of this mysterious video? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.